you've been too nice for too long. You're going to have to be the bitch. And he, and he said, okay, you know, but that's how it works. Because a lot of these people are really nice people. Mm -hmm. And they don't simply become mean, vicious. Oh, and I'm watching, um, the, I'm watching the British version of, um, of, of American Idol. And I see a guy there who's one of the nicest individuals on the earth just destroying people. And this is a guy that when, you know, basically he'll stop eating, he would stop eating food, you know, um, you know, I, I, I'm a singer, and he, okay, let's hear you sing. And he said, um, okay, you need to have more practice. And then, you know, and he said, after you've been done this, and he said, you know, here's my card, you know where to get hold of me after you've had some practice, and he goes back to eating. That's the type of person that he is, but on a show, you haven't got a chance in hell. You might, I don't know what the blankety blank you're even doing up here. He said, somebody like you should have never been allowed to get on a stage. And then right after he's done a show, oh, okay. He said, uh, you've actually got a fine voice, but you need to be able to hold the notes longer. Mm. That's the same individual that just chewed up and spit out someone on television. You know, the, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was little, where your mom, you get in trouble and your mom is scolding you. Mm. The phone would ring. Oh, hello. Yeah. Like nothing was, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just they're, but they're actors. They can turn it on mm -hmm. and off. They're just role playing. But uh, it, it just, though, is when everything goes wrong and it's been going wrong. Two things, you know, several things have went wrong all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it's just been getting worse because the people that are, aren't members of the acting world, I mean, like, I grew up in an entertainment business. My mother couldn't comprehend it, really. I mean, uh, my mother had no, I, my mother would say, you know, you know, well, you know, unlike your father, I wish you went out and got a regular job. Let's see. I was like 15 years old. I had a convertible automobile, lots of money to spend, and I could do anything I wanted. Why did you want a regular job? For? So why would I want a regular job, folks? I mean, well, you, you know, you've got to do something. You've got to go to school. I said, well, like I was 17 years old and a college graduate. He said, well, you need to go out and get a job. And I said, I already have a job and I'm working full time. Well, that's not real work. <laughs> my mother never, my, my, her mother was a script supervisor, which guess who paid for my mother's education? Yep. And, uh, and uh, you know. But that wasn't a real job, right? Oh, that wasn't a real job. Me and my mother would come on, my mother came on, my mother had brought on a set with her brothers and sisters when she was little too. And my mother was the one, well, I don't understand why you people have to do it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what anybody wants to see. And that's what they buy and pay for. She said, well, the people are all wrong. Mm -hmm. That was my mother. My mother could not comprehend the business. My mother was totally against the business. You know, so I'm the only one in my family that went into it. Because I, you know, I, was, actually, I, was, I, I was a baby when I started, folks. <laughs> So, yeah, so my daddy got me into the business because he didn't want to kill somebody else. The way it was put to the director, but if I'm going to kill somebody, it might as well be my son. Uh -huh. Which, when my mother found out about it, she came to the set and put it into that real quick. Yeah, Which, because it was almost her son. It was almost her son that did get killed because the, the main, the actor who was in charge had not had children at that time. And he sort of thought of me as sort of something to throw in the air. <laughs> and because I was... wasn't used to kids. Because there was lots of sand and I hit the ground. Oh. And then my father would come back over and dust me up and put me back in. And then I'd get bounced out. And then, I mean, I, I, I went this way, I went this way, I went that way, I went that way. And then my mother showed up and there was the... the as my, my grandmother said, she tried to calm her down. My mother did have a very colorful... Uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary, and the director went over and told the actor, you're going to kill that kid, his mother's over there. You, she said, if, if you kill him, she's going to kill me, then she's going to kill you. And then she's going to kill all the members of your family afterwards. And, uh, and they, they said, thought she was serious. And yeah, they said, she's from Cicero, Illinois. She said, oh, crap. We thought, they thought she was a gang member. No, that's just what she was from. But she had a very bad temper. Now, she was also an Indian. She said she wouldn't bother. She starts scalping you at the neck. <laughs> so, but uh, no, but she didn't understand, and, and if you're not in, this is why um, she understands reality, I understand reality, but she has members of her family, and I have members of my family that think the shows are real. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the poor guy, you know, Mr. Russell Armstrong, he couldn't understand it either. All he understood that he was the butt of everybody's joke. And you know what? That had to be really hard for him. Yeah. 
because, like I said, we've known actors that are basically, we've known a couple of actors. Uh, we, know an act, we know one guy that was a butt of a lot of jokes. He wanted to be a, he wanted to be a, a, a well, golfer. And all they would do is laugh at him for doing everything he was trained to do, and, and part, finally he had a heart attack one day. And part of it is, I don't know how much they knew about it, was how much of it was done through editing, or how much was, you know, because sometimes when they start on a show, and all of a sudden someone seems to have a certain character or seems to start going in a direction, what they do is they expand they it. expand it. Right? But a lot of what happens to these guys happens off camera. And, and then they were business people. And they'll say, well, well, we can't control what happens off camera. Oh, well, yes, they can. They can control it by what happens on camera. When you start a narrative going, uh, uh, an example of how things get carried away. I mean, I actually did get an Emmy nomination for playing a character that was on a continuing basis. I never said a word. It was only supposed to be one episode, but they liked how mean I was. And I come in with the hat down. My my every I dressed totally in black with a no, the only white thing with the pearl handle on my gun and my in the silver, you know, uh, spurs that I had on. But uh, it was demanded that I be carried on. That, you know, I, I, I didn't even act bad guys. We didn't really play really mean bad guys. But uh, if the people wanted it, and this is what happens on a reality show. They'll pick and choose who they like, mm -hmm. and if they don't like your character and you can't be written out, they take advantage of the fact that people don't like you and they make you worse. Mm -hmm. And they can do it so mean. It's well, very, and part of it is it's the repercussions afterwards. A business person, it destroyed his business. I mean, it, it, hurt, it hurt Loud's business. It hurt his construction sales business terribly. Mm -hmm. Because they made him, he was a total clown all over the country. And it took, they had to go to court and fight one major, they did a PR battle. They fought one battle after another battle after another to change the opinion of the family. They made, them, they made them all look like clowns, the whole family, you know, and they weren't. I mean, other than the mother, everybody was, okay, children wanted to be band members, which they actually got to do. Some wanted to be an actress, some wanted to be a dancer. Father just wanted to do something to boost his business because he couldn't afford advertising. Well, hell, I'm running a, I'm running a national sales business, so this will help me do it. Instead... Well, it did help them at first. And then they and made... Then it, then, started, then it started turning. Because they needed the ratings. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is public broadcasting does not run on ratings alone. This was a public broadcasting thing. This oh, over, it was? This is reality where it started was on, on, on public broadcasting. You couldn't have ran a show like that on network television. Because it was... They, first of all, they wouldn't have put a show on network television with a gay guy in it. They would have had him, you know. At the time when they were doing it, he'd have been in a, you know, in a business suit, and you know, you know, okay, I've got a job on, I've got a, I've got a job on Broadway this day. Oh, or you know, what are you going to be in? Well, I'm going to be in, I'm going to do the, uh, you know, the, the, I'm going to do the John Ray role in Oklahoma. Oh my God, I didn't know you had the vocal range of John Ray. Well, I'm really good, Mom. That's how it would have been done on regular television then. Today, I'm going to be playing, you know, Corbain and the, and taking over the Sex Pistols. But they weren't, they weren't, doesn't make any difference. I am going to play Corbain taking over the Sex Pistols, and I am gay. That's how it would be done today, so. And I like, I like to be, I like whips and chains. So that's how it's done today on network television. But, um, you know, I, I when you go too far in anything, like we tend sometimes to go too far. <laughs> but only people, no, nobody listens to us anyway, so if they listen to us, we'd be better off. We're, we're historical. You know, we do nothing. It's why we tend to do very little news up front and do everything that's archival. Because in, a, in two or three months, they'll go back to this, and all of a sudden, get 16,000 hits. I guess until next time, this is old town. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for mm -hmm. more information. You can go to www.montybubbles.net uh, www on the net. Or tune in to the Monty Bubbles Network because it has a new show every day coming online. That's right. Tune in. And wherever you're watching us, follow us daily. Follow our daily newscast at 3D. And, oh, 
follow us on Twitter. We have like our, us on Facebook. We have an RSS feed, I think, on the front page. I'm not certain anymore. <laughs> it changes so It's all in progress right now. Anyway, thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. Oh, <laughs>